It's your boy Indian Guru in the house back with another bang on video. Well, today's video, I don't know, we have uh, uh, latest news coming your way about Arsenal. We don't have much news today, but still, I had to provide you some really important statistics, some good interview points of Eddie and Ketia, and definitely, definitely, I think Jeff Rain Adelaide does not miss Arsenal. We all know that, but still, an important update for the Watford game coming up. Harvey Gracie has been sacked. Ladies and gentlemen, more on that. So keep watching the video till the end and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe the channel and be a part of this community. By being a part of this community, you can always, without being judged on whatever your perspective are about Arsenal, you can definitely comment and let me know what you feel about Arsenal. What do you feel? How exactly Arsenal should go forward? How do you believe that what should be the formations? Anything, any point that you have about Arsenal, you can always post on my other comments of my videos. I will definitely uh, come back to those comments and definitely would appreciate your involvement. I would want to increase the engagement and involvement of all the supporters that are coming to this uh, channel uh, to this community so make sure you participate you definitely uh, try to you know uh, 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 add your valuable additions well uh, without any further ado let's move on to the first news of the day the first news of the day ladies and gentlemen jeff rain adelaide does not give a damn about arsenal yes here's uh, some of these uh, some of the uh, comments from his interviews i was 17 years of age when I arrived at Arsenal and it was a little complicated. There was a lot of competition and I had to learn. I wanted to go somewhere else to get playing time. It turns out that it was a good choice considering where I am. I've moved forward since uh, returning to France. I started from almost nothing again because I had a hard time. Now I blossom when I'm on the pitch. Truly said, I think uh, Jeffrey Adelaide was uh, playing with uh, uh, Angers and uh, during the preseason game, Angers played against Arsenal and after that, Jeffrey Adelaide uh, made a switch to Lyon. Lyon, I guess, uh, they signed him up and uh, uh, it is great because we also got the windfall money. <laughs> but uh, not only that, I think uh, obviously, uh, not only Jeffrey Adelaide, Serge Gnabry, you know, he, he did not blossom at Arsenal and look at what he's doing for Barcelona and Germany. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, and look what he's doing for the Bundesliga champions Bayern and Germany. Ladies and gentlemen, we know that we've uh, committed certain amount of crimes, uh, you know, letting a winger go. But uh, I don't know. I, I, it's like a cycle. It's a cycle of cursing because I would really go back. And if you, if you guys would have asked me if I can go back to time and erase some of the times, I can definitely say at least after the 2011 time, I would really like to erase till 2018. I would even, I would even uh, would want to erase the 2018 to 2019 season, but uh, I would uh, uh, remove certain important parts, especially Aubameyang coming to Arsenal, Lacazette coming to Arsenal. Uh, um, I don't know, rest, rest all just followed. I, I just don't want to, you know, uh, stretch this point more. Moving on, Javi Gracia, ladies and gentlemen, Javi Gracia has been sacked by Watford. Well, uh, he was on an eight-game winless streak, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, uh, Javier Gracia made sure that uh, Watford flourished in their uh, initial uh, games uh, started last season. But this season has been a nightmare for Watford. And if they don't get somebody who can definitely pick them up, I think they could even go to the relegation battle. I think it's really sad to see that Watford are reeling from a position that they can definitely make the top 10 or at least the top 15. I don't think so, uh, Watford really have, in the, have it in them. But they have already announced the new manager, Kike Sanchez Flores, their former boss, has been appointed as the manager. And ladies and gentlemen, could it be the new manager bump? Could it be that a new manager coming to the Premier League? Uh, well, obviously they have uh, at least shown in the first game. Will the new manager bring in the new fresh of air, the, the new fresh of uh, performance from Watford? Uh, for the fact that obviously there's something new coming up obviously the players will turn up on their good day and uh, It's an uh, away game for us. So make no mistake. I think at least at their home They'll definitely try to be bang on physical and uh, probably uh, stretch our defense more I don't know. I'm really excited about the game. I'm really missing, uh, you know, uh, seeing Arsenal on a pitch I'd really like to see them as soon as possible. Well, moving on. Well, Dani Ceballos really outshone any other player for Spain, ladies and gentlemen, against Romania. Here is a very important, these are the really important statistics as an Arsenal fan, everybody should know. 
Uh, well, he had a pass accuracy of 95.6 percentage. 95.6 percentage is a pass accuracy, ladies and gentlemen. Five chances created. To all the people who uh, I don't know if there is any Arsenal fan who even doubts Sebayos, yeah. But even if I think this is a very strong statement in terms of Unai Emery is concerned, Danny Sebayos should definitely start every game for Arsenal. Why? Here are your reasons. Five chances created for Spain. One penalty won. Seven out of seven long balls completed. Ladies and gentlemen, he's doing the work of Granit Xhaka. He's doing the work of uh, being a penalty take. Uh, he's one winning the penalties. Not only that, he's created five chances. That the creativity comes in for Danny Ceballos. Not only that, two out of the two dribbles completed. Three free kicks won. Ladies and gentlemen, I won't say he's quite vulnerable, but he is really skillful. And because of his super skills he can definitely uh, you know uh, uh, the players could definitely lunge forward the players could definitely try to foul him up and he can definitely win you free kicks ladies and gentlemen we have got a master class performance of Dani Ceballos if you still haven't go and watch the highlights uh, Spain versus Romania Dani Ceballos has been dazzling in dazzling form for Spain moving on Eddie Nketiah ladies and gentlemen Eddie Nketiah had this to say about Unai Emery and his move to Leeds he said I hope it's a good year I hope it's a good year that can uh, leave me in a good space uh, going back to Arsenal to fight for a place there were a lot of options there were options for me uh, to go to Germany me my family and club decided Leeds was the best place well uh, it's a dream come true to have uh, and uh, obviously when asked about uh, Ian Wright mentoring him he said, it's a dream come true to have one of your heroes speaking to you. I mean, it's really great. And not only that, he spoke about Unai Emery as well. He said that the manager wanted me to stay. So it's really confidence boosting for me that he had uh, me in his plans. Ladies and gentlemen, Unai Emery had his plans. It was him, his family and uh, the management who took the decision. The club took the decision to send him on loan and it was not Unai Emery. So uh, stop cursing Unai Emery for everything. Not only that, uh, I think uh, not. Uh, I think most of the stuff also comes uh, uh, on these news as well. That he had obviously youngsters are getting damn lot of chances for Germany as well for an exciting talent like Eddie and Ketia, ladies and gentlemen from England. He would have definitely had offers. Really, three four clubs would have definitely, without even thinking twice, they would have approached. But but the problem is that Eddie and Ketia, his family and the club selected Leeds United, and he is outshone everybody in that, in that pitch for Leeds United unbelievable the Leeds fans really love him I just hope I know I know his heart is stuck at Arsenal and I want to see Eddie Nketiah destroy every defense in an Arsenal jersey man really I really want to see that well these were the news of today I hope you enjoyed liked and definitely try uh, you know you got the great amount of information that you always wanted to seek about Arsenal Comment and let me know what do you feel about Arsenal, what do you feel about Jeff Reynard Leeds comments, what do you feel about Arsenal versus Watford, let me know what do you feel and I'll see you in my next video and make no mistake, subscribe and be a part of this community. Cheers.